My name's Warren Matowski. I'm the uh, clinical lead for the Sussex Delivering With, Delivering Well um, program. I'm really pleased so many of you um, could make it. This is our first uh, community of practice event, the first of the six events that we'll run um, this year. Before I explain a bit about that, um, just a bit of housekeeping. We're not expecting a fire drill today, so if the alarm goes off, you meant to leave through the door to my left, uh, go down the stairs and congregate on the grass across the way. Um, in terms of Wi-Fi, there's some information on your table about accessing the Wi-Fi code. And in terms of toilets, there's some just outside the entrance door here. If there's a queue there, then there's some further along um, the corridor. Um, there is coffee available throughout and tea available throughout the morning. We, will, we may have a coffee break, um, but if you want to go out and help yourself to coffee, and I think there's some croissants left, um, please do. Um, in terms of parking, now, uh, I think there's a bit of complication with the invite that did include a parking voucher that might have been slightly obscured. So, for those of you who have paid for a couple of hours in the breaks, you're welcome to uh, approach the registration table and get a uh, parking voucher that you can shove in your car and you don't have to pay any more. Okay? Right. I think that's um, all the housekeeping I had to do. Um, so this community of practice is about bringing together services from across Sussex to transform how we deliver support for children and young people and families' mental health across Sussex. The kind of transformation we're thinking about will require all services to come together, that's specialist, targeted and universal services. Um, and just to set out a bit about our ideas about um, transformation, I want to highlight two key documents. So first of all, we'll have this document here that many people will have heard of, Future in Mind, that was produced by the Department of Health and NHS England. Now this document, it's filled with ambition, it's filled with hope, and there's lots of clear values. And I have to say, it contains some really good stuff that those of us that have been in this game for many years have been arguing for, things like and the importance of mental health promotion, mental health prevention, high quality training for staff, which we're going to focus on today, um, structures and services that enable reflective practice, uh, and using the latest research about what works, and also working in partnership with children, young people and families. Now, there have been a number of criticisms of this document, one of which is that there's, there's not much detail there. What do services look like when they are transformed? Um, now, fortunately for us, those lovely people from CYPI Act have produced this document called Delivering With, Delivering Well. Now, we've got some of these lovely people from CYPI Act here today. They will explain who they are and kind of what they do. But um, I think this is a really important document because it sets out in detail. At times, I have to confess, it feels like too much detail, exactly what are the standards that we judge the transformation by. How will we know when we're getting closer to being transformed? So we've taken this title for our Sussex programme, Sussex Delivering With, Delivering Well. And um, the reason why we like this title, because it captures two parts of the transformation. First of all, the delivering well bit, which is about well-trained staff doing what the research shows works in accessible services that promote reflective practice, and our outcomes oriented. And as well, delivering with, that we work in a way that fits with children, young people's and families' preferences, and that our services are organized around those preferences as well. Again, the expectations of this document are really high, and, and, and it's highly ambitious, and I don't think children and young people should expect anything less. However, we need to remember that mental health work is tough. And we're doing it in really tough times. And um, our collective workforce really feels that on a daily basis. Now, um, a senior colleague of mine, whose opinion I take really seriously, described these documents as a fairy tale. Now, to some people in this room, that might sound pejorative. However, to me, um, it really resonated. I think that metaphor has real depth. And I think the reason for that is I've spent... Um, a large part of my professional life talking to children about fairy tales and stories that they really connect with. And what I've learned from those conversations is that children use these fairy tales and stories as a kind of equipment for living. 
And they seem to do so in three ways that I think is important for our task. First of all, they use these fairy tales and stories as uh, to show them that life has multiple trajectories beyond what surrounds them. Secondly, it informs them about ethical and moral codes. You know, the transgression from the path helps define the path. And lastly, and perhaps most importantly, it gives the vision thing. You know, what's possible, what could be in place, and the direction of travel to get there. So it's in this sense that I, I hope this community of practice can take on the hopes and ambitions of this, these documents um, as we grapple with the ways to take it forward in our difficult work, in difficult times. And there's no single or simple path towards transformation. Today you'll learn about training opportunities, training for managers, training for supervisors, and training for practitioners. And I hope that many of the services represented in this room will be able to support trainees to take up places. Now there may be some organisations that aren't ready to do that, but I want this community of practice to be for all services, and I'm determined that from every session um, there will be ideas and things that you can take away and get started on the transformation tomorrow. That's my commitment um, for this community of practice. Now we've set up this uh, community of practice mindful that no one has all the answers on how to carry out this transformation in difficult times. In specialist camps and in other services in the South East, We've been working for a number of years on this transformation and we can share what we've tried, the dead ends we've been down, the learning that we've gained from it. But by no means do we have it licked and we have a great deal to learn. So my first hope for this community of practice is that we're able to support each other with holding on to the hopes of these documents um, while remaining in touch with the daily challenges our services and communities face. My second hope is a bit more selfish, and it's that over the course of the next year, by hearing about your solutions and ideas uh, for how you're going to work on the transformation, I'll have ideas to take back to my organisation to help us with the transformation as well. Today's first event, the agenda has been largely set for you. My last hope is that with the aid of your feedback and really carefully listening to what you say today, we can develop six events that are collaboratively worked up and relevant and valuable to, um, to you all. As we work together to ensure all our services in Sussex are delivered with young people, children and families, and delivered well. So um, that's my opening spiel. Um, to move on to our kind of main speakers for today, um, I'm going to introduce them both and then they can uh, uh, speak uh, as required. First of all, I'm very pleased that we've got uh, Dr. Emma Silver, who's a consultant clinical psychologist and lead clinician with the Brandon Se Centre, who's worked alongside the CYPI App Collaborative for many years. And also Alex Goforth, the programme lead for the London and South East uh, CYPI App Collaborative. So let me introduce uh, Emma and Alex. Oh, yes. 